Hey, what is up guys? My name is Jane. Today, we are going to continue our journey uh, from Celestic Town. Uh, let- uh, okay, well... Well, there's an odd spaceman in front of the ruins. There isn't anything there, but that only seemed to make him angry. He's saying he will blow the town up with a bomb. The nerve of it all. If only I were younger, I'd punish that spaceman with my Pokemon. Okay, so it looks like we have to go into that ruins. This town is insignificant. There's nothing of value here. It doesn't need to exist, so I'll blow it up with a galactic bomb. If you try to mess with me, I'll shut you down with a Pokemon battle. So what's it going to be? Are you going to mess with me? Yes. You dare to oppose Team Galactic? That means you are taking on the world. No universe even. Okay, it looks like that's our first battle of the day. So yeah, um, last time we were making our way to Celestic Town, the town that we currently are on. And wow, he has a beautiful eye. That's, that's pretty gnarly. I didn't expect the Team Galactic one to have a beautiful eye, but alright. Yeah, so in this time, um, hopefully in today's video we'll make it to the 5th gym. But I'm not sure if that's gonna pan out, we'll see. We'll play and then uh, if we have time to go to the 5th gym, then we will definitely make our way to the 5th gym. Alright, our NPC is definitely putting some levels. Krogok, actually no, we'll switch her. We'll keep our Pokemon. Oh wait, no, Krogok gets in a fighting attack, I forgot, it's just poison, right? Oh wait, no, maybe it is, I don't know. Let's just one shot it with Psychic and uh, make our way in. Hey, super. Oh wow, and it was a crit. Nice. That's some good stuff. Alright. We have defeated Team Galactic Grunt. Thank you for the cash. Now we'll be making our way in. Too much to handle. Whatever. I'm out of this one horse town. There's nothing to do here, anyways. Alright, see you later. I like these little pictures of Dialga and Palkia, they look really gnarly. Well, aren't you the quite the trainer? That was magnificent. As the elder of Celestic Town, I give you my thanks. Oh, that old charm? May I see that, dear? What's that? You say Cynthia entrusted you to deliver it to me? That's Cynthia. She's my granddaughter. You handed over the old charm to the elder. This old charm is something made in Celestic Town long, long ago. It was made in honor of a mythical deity said to have created Sinnoh. These old charms are still discovered now and again. Since you're in Celestic Town, why not look inside the ruins? In that case, we will do just that. Alrighty, so this is the ruins. Um, oh, I thought there would be a guy in here somewhere. You examine the ancient cave painting, the mystery designs cover a whole section of the wall. There are three strange things forming a triangle in the middle of the Amishani Sphere. What is this about? Keeping reminds me of an old story. There existed a being, a being so powerful, it was considered a deity at the time. Opposing this were three Pokemon. The three kept balance with one another as if they formed a triangle. It's an ancient legend of Sinnoh that is still told to this day in Celestic Town. Oh yes, I found something useful. You should take these. They belong to my granddaughter, but she's not using them. You obtained TM-95s. I wonder what they are. Oh, surf. That is nice. We're going to be able to surf now. The user controls a huge wave, drags everything around it except for the user itself and attacks. And my granddaughter said something about what was it. Oh, yes. You can use surf from your pokeage to cross water, such as seas and rivers. To use that hidden move in the field, however, you must first obtain the Hearth Throne Gym Badge. On that matter, you will have to handle it yourself, I'm afraid. Well, that is fine, Granny, because that is exactly what we plan on doing. Alright, let us get out of here. Man. And make our way to Hearth Throne City Gym. Okay. There appears to have been an insignificant struggle here. Everyone should step back and view things from a bigger perspective. Yes, a bigger perspective, one that is on a universal scale. My name is Cyrus. I seek the power to create a new world, a world without strife. However, that power seems to be unavailable here. We've met before, yes? It was at Mount Coronet. 
If you discover any power derived from the Legends of Sinnoh, inform me. But that power is what I need to create my new world. Wow, very ambitious man. If we ever do find power, we are most likely gonna keep it to ourselves, so I'm just gonna bridge your book there. Alright, let's make our way up here. And let's take the time to, uh... Uh... Steal these berries, because we need some good berry usage. And... I'm thinking... Yeah, we should probably take on these trainers. Just so that I don't have to uh, come back here and face them later on. And it'll be um, good XP before we uh, hit the uh, gym later on. Speaking of gym, I have not gone to gym today or yesterday. Uh, I'm trying to get a workout regimen going, but that is a lot easier said than done. Right now, I'm trying to focus mostly on like calisthenic stuff because I realized that you know. Um, I don't really want to be like the biggest guy in the gym, you know, I just want to look good enough. And for me, I think the true flex comes from your ability to, um, you know, your ability to move in the way that you want to move. For example, if I want to do a cartwheel, then I can do a cartwheel. If I want to do a round off, then I can do a round off. If I do a backflip in a certain way, then I can do that, you know? So yeah, that's um, that's kind of my style. Sky attack! Wow, that is that is a pretty strong move. Okay, this knockdown is down for the count. Nice. Since the Fifth gym is ghost type. Um, I wonder what Pokemon we should send out in front. Um, you know what? We'll keep on leveling up our NPC just for a bit. Why not? Alright, let's take on this trainer here. But yeah, um, speaking of calisthenics, yeah, I, I, I think it's um, I think it's probably the kind of workout that I want to be doing because I just want to be able to do things with my body and not just look it, you know? And because I'm already 22, I don't really think I have that many years left to, you know, really enjoy the fruits of my labor because it's going to take me a couple of years to achieve the goals that I want physically and then, you know, by the time I achieve it, most likely I'll start hopefully start a family of my own and that means I'll have less time for myself so yeah it's um it'd be like that I'm strong 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 am I really no I am strong I am strong wow this dude oh wow okay give us TM 77 what is it is it bulk up or something oh using really all I'm fucking harden bro come on dude don't waste my time with that. Alright. Let's face this trainer. Ninja Boy Nick. MBN. Skorupi. You know, I used to think uh, Skorupi and uh, Drapion were like one of the strongest Pokemon. Uh, because when. Uh, what do you call it? What is that called? When. Uh, when uh, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl were like airing, like the Pokemon anime, I thought Paul's Dreamman was just the strongest guy in the universe. Like, he took out three of Ash's Pokemon, and that was no joke. Like, that thing could take hits. But then when I tried using, you know, Dreamman on my team, I realized it's, it's not really all that. It's like, in a game when you unlock, um, the boss as a playable character, you know, they're like significantly nerfed. It's kind of like the same effect. Alright, we should be able to one-shot this whole bat. That is nice. Alright, we're making some good strides here. We're making some good strides. Let's go. We defeated Ninja Boy Nick. Yeah. Alright, I'm pretty sure that's like all the trainers within this vicinity. 
And you are evolving again. Our holy really, really wants to evolve bad, but we are not going to allow that to happen. Uh, let's go down here. Let's see what this place has to offer. Nothing? This is just... Maybe there's a Pokeball down there. Um, this is just the route we take to avoid the... No. Oh, okay. Well, we got another trainer. That's fine. Let's take out some more trainers. We could uh, definitely use it. Use the XPs. And they got three Pokemon. And we know that this guy has only fighting types. And a poison type. So we'll just spam Psychic. Our NPC is really good at that. And use it. You know, I know that we're nowhere close to completing the entirety of um, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, but in the back of my mind, I'm already thinking of what other games that I could be indulging on. I also make a Smash content, but I'm I'm thinking of doing another kind of uh, walkthrough video. I like walkthroughs, because they give me a chance to not only play the game, but you guys to also, you know, see what the game is like. Um, I know most of you already probably know what the game is like, but, you know, it's just nice to have someone um, play the game and you can maybe play the game along with me, do your own thing, just not even consider what I'm saying in the background. Just use me as like background noise, you know? Because that's what I like to do sometimes. When I play a game, I used to watch this guy named Purple Laundry, and I'd play whatever game that he used to play. Uh, too bad that he is retired. Um, I would have loved to you know, do a collab with him one day, uh, but it seems like he is off of YouTube for good. Okay, so that is the last Pokemon that this Black Belt fucker had. Let us make our way. Let's see what the cave has to offer. I don't think the cave is much, but I'm so curious. I don't know what the cave um, is. Okay. Let us use a repel. Just to kind of explore this cave a little bit. If we have any repels. Do we not have a repel? Are you kidding me? Oh, no, we do. Okay. Bet. I knew we had a repel. Um, oh, a Pokeball. Nice. Escape rope, that will definitely come in handy. Wait, I think there's an item here. Nice, yes. Got a tiny mushroom. I have no idea what that tiny mushroom does, but right, let's get out. And let us fly to Hearthrome City. Because it seems like our um, save menu is really wanting us to go and defeat that gym. So that is what we are going to be doing. Alright, let's get this out. Go to Nurse Joy, heal up our NPC, get that PP back. Hello, Nurse Joy. Yes, we like to heal our Pokemon. Please do it pronto because we are in a time crunch. I'm not really in a time crunch, but I'm kind of starving right now. And I do want to get this gym over with and then edit this video. And then after that, I'll be able to eat breakfast. I just like to edit videos, um, you know, right after I finish recording the worlds, I just put it off and, you know, posting gaming content is not something I want to put off because I really do enjoy you know, playing with you guys. So, yeah, alright, let's do this. Our very first question. Question. Uh, what is 3 plus 5 plus 7? Well, it is going to be 15. But the thing I like to do is actually go to the choose the doors that have the wrong answer on purpose. And the reason I do that is because <laughs> I just want the XP. Um, I Every time I play this game, I always do the same thing. I prefer battling trainers rather than just wild Pokemon. Because I, I, I think you get more XP that way. So, yeah, we're just gonna... We're just gonna do our thing. Alright, we'll use Hex. I think that's like one of our weaker moves. And then... We'll uh, eventually be using other things too. See, Ghastly, boom. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get like, what, 400 XP maybe? Let's see. Oh, 
normal. I didn't even get a chance to see. But he has a hot turn, so it'll definitely just give us more XP. We can just spam punch. Level 29, too. Oh, that Shadow Punch. It's a good thing our NPC doesn't really have any weakness except maybe Fairy. Um, so, and this type definitely doesn't have Fairy types. I don't think so. See, look at all that XP. That, this is exactly why I love um, just getting dances long and facing these trainers so that I can get XP easy. And I wonder when we could get our lucky egg so that we can... Um, um, level up our Pokemon faster because I also do want to get all of our Pokemon to level 100 and our second step will be to catch every Pokemon and then I'm not talking about just like the final form I'm talking about like catching um, like all Pokemon like for example the beautiful eye line I'd catch um, Caterpie, the Metapod, and Beautifly, you know, something like that. Like, I want to completely finish the game, you know? I, I don't think I've ever completely finished a Pokemon game ever. Like, when I was younger, all I do is just catch only six Pokemon, and the team that I caught were, like, pre-planned and everything, and I just face the gym and face the Elite Four, and then after that, I was just done. I just started over. Like, I didn't know that you could go and challenge Jim once again. So, yeah. All my Pokemon games were in Korean, and I didn't really know how to read in Korean. So I just played to spam the button. Alright, question two. What is 12 plus? Okay, so it's 40, so we're not gonna go... We're not gonna go in the middle one. We're gonna go into every other door. I know this uh, probably takes a little longer, but I think it's a smart way to gain a lot of XP, especially if your Pokemon are underleveled. Um, speaking of Pokemon, I feel like we need to catch another member for our team. Um, yeah, we'll definitely be catching another member um, very soon. I have a couple of ideas of what it could be, but um, one of the Pokemon you can't really get until later on. Um, the other one I just haven't thought of yet. I'm really trying to find a Pokemon that we could use that's not... How should I say it? That's not... Um, of the same... any of the same typing that we currently have. Ooh, that is gonna do some massive damage to our NPC. Okay, hopefully our NPC will wake up. Like, we really need it to wake up. Like, please wake up. Dude, stop sleeping. Wake up. Okay, I'm, I'm starting to think that we probably need to heal our NPC after this battle. Wait, how come Mean Look doesn't affect Spirit Tomb? That doesn't make sense. Unless Ghastly already used it? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, let's go our Mumble Guru to level 39. Whirlpool? No, we are definitely not learning Whirlpool. That move is so weak. Alright, speaking of weak, our NPC... We are going to switch our Pokemon. Let us send a Holy. And our Holy is going to be doing some Holy crud load of damage. Alright, do some work. Do some work. Gosley. Uh, let's use Psybeam. Dude, why are the Ghastly so freaking fast? Are you kidding me? Stop putting this thing. I'm pretty sure... It, doesn't the Hypnosis have like an 85% or like lower accuracy? Like, dude, come on. You shouldn't be like hitting all the time. Okay, Mean Luck. That's fine. Wake up, please. Please wake up. Ooh, no, that dream meter is down. Not really do much, huh? I thought it'd be a little more effective. Oh, so it's not effective. Alright, bad, bad, bad. Alright, let's get a one shot that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Alright. That was wow, this this chain was a pretty good one, I thought. Alright, let's keep our holy out. We'll just keep on spamming a side beam. Nice. And 
done. Easy. Alright, after this, I'm probably gonna put Holy up in front because our NPC is kind of tanking. So, uh, yeah, let's do that real quick. Dun, 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 dun. Um, actually, I'm gonna. Mm, I'm gonna heal our Holy as, uh, I mean, our NPC. Um, just because I feel like we may need him in the battle. And because of that. Since we healed our NPC, I'm just gonna leave him out in the front. Why not? Um, to lazy to switch. And our NPC also has Psychic, so we should be able to one-shot these Pokemon, no problem. Alright, Drifloo. Drifloo, Drifloo. I think our NPC is like still fitting for this gym. This is like Ghost and Dark type. It just works so well. Let's see if Sucker Punch can do it. No! What? Who on earth uses Stockpile? Bro. Okay, let's just Psychic this and move on. Gust? Are you kidding me? Now it attacks? Yikes! stockpiling and then after you swallow it heals I didn't know that oh that barely did anything that I don't think that's that combination of moves is not worth it at all no we'll keep our current Pokemon our NPC is doing great we'll just keep on oh Confused Ray. I believe our Pokemon is surprisingly resilient to Confused Rays. Like, they still are able to attack. See? Like, look at that. Dude, I'm telling you, our Pokemon is just like confusion proof. Let's try it again. Oh, we should have used Stucker Punch. Wow, and it stepped out of confusion in the second turn. Dude, bro, that confusion had like no effect. Let's go. Our Pokemon. All right, Picnicker Cheyenne. It's tough, I know. Give me your money. All right, let's get out of here and let's go through the correct door. I wonder how many more of these we got. I think we have like one more after this. Oh, what's the next one? I don't know the math question. All right, what is three? So it's thirty-nine. So we have to go in this door. And the door on the right. Nice. Alright. This kind of character looks like has a um Kadabra or oh no, it has a hunter. I know it's a ghost type Pokemon. Um or Kadabra is not a ghost type Pokemon, but still he looks like someone that has an Abra or Kadabra. But definitely not an Alakazam. Um no, let's use a psychic. We could have used second punch. Damn, that's rough. But at least we'll be able to one shot this Pokemon, no problem. It's not that you didn't study enough, you didn't train enough. Speaking of studying, I feel like that's something I need to start doing a little more often. Um. I don't really, the thing is, is like studying for me isn't really like just learning things, it's also like, like for me studying is, well I guess studying is learning things, it's just, I haven't like sat down on a desk or gone to a library and like try wholeheartedly to memorize material for like a class, you know? Um, yes, start to my book. Like all my classes are related to my um, internship right now so for me most of my learning comes from working on my internship but I don't really call that studying if that makes sense it's more learning like studying to me is it's like textbook kind of studying I know studying is much broader than that but whenever I think of studying that's just what I think of just me studying these textbooks or 
stuff like that, you know? Alright, let us I beam this. But yeah, I think I need to start finding uh, more productive hobbies, if you will. Coding is something I've been really interested in lately. Um, mostly because there's just so many things that you can build, and I just like creating things. And ironically, I, it's a little ironic because um, I say I like creating things, but I can't post YouTube videos on my other channel because I'm so scared as other people just looking at my videos. But yeah, it's um, it'd be like that sometimes. Okay. Oh wow. Dude, I, oh no, we don't. Whatever. Alright, let us go into our final one. I'm pretty sure this is going to be our last set of questions that we have. Yeah, this is going to be our last set of questions. Okay. Uh, which one I don't... I, I think it was 15. Um, yeah, I think it's 15. So we'll go into the right door very last while we are facing off against these trainers. Wow, so this one has... Th oh no, we should have probably healed our... Um, NPC, yikes. Uh, we'll just switch off. You know, we'll switch off to Holy because our Holy could also take hits. Mm, actually, no, on second thought, I'm going to give this thing Wumu Milk uh, because NPC's attacks are super effective and I want to be one shining these Pokemon. Please just don't fall asleep. Like, I, I don't want. You can confuse me all you want, but just don't make it fall asleep. I'm pretty sure this Ghastly is just going to keep on attacking, so we are going to predict this move and use Sucker Punch. What am I doing? Alright, boom. I called it. Oh my- are you kidding me? Toxic? You're going to be shitting me. Oh my god. Alright, we're going to use Sucker Punch again because I'm pretty sure it's going to attack. So we want to attack first. Alright, I'm calling this one. I'm calling this one. For show. Sure, for show. Sure. Nice. what I say? what I say? But we are going to be uh, keeping our NPC out. I know poison's effects become more severe as the battle is prolonged. So we are going to try to end this quickly. Uh, no, we are going to keep our Pokemon. We are going to use one more, more Sucker Punch. Because I am I am calling this. Boom. Easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Alright, that's two down. The last time we took 10 HP off of our holy from not holy our NPC from that poison. Yeah, see now it took uh, 15. Gengar. Okay, we are not gonna be able to handle Gengar, so we are gonna be switching off. Good job, NPC. You did great. I'll give you a Petra Berry or a um, antidote after, so that you could be fresh. Dang, that Gengar looking kind of good. I was thinking of getting a Gengar for the team, but we already had a, a ghost type on our team that I wanted more than Gengar, our NPC, so uh, that's why I didn't opt for Gengar, but yeah, Gengar is definitely a Pokemon that I like using. It's just not defensively great, so that's why I stuck with the NPC. Nice. We have defeated Trainer Allen. Alright, so we are going to go into our bag real quick. Our, our holy is evolving for the second time today. Jesus, we know you're not gonna evolve. You can just learn. I'll evolve you soon when the time is right. All right. Um. You know what? Do we have? Yeah, we have an antidote. So let's use antidote, and that should be enough heals. All right. Let's get out. Uh, go to this door. Boom. Yeah, our Pokemon are getting some great levels. I'm really glad that we did this. Um, I encourage you guys to do it too if you guys don't like chaining in the wild. Like, this is some great XP. Alright, Mischievous. Since we don't have Psycho Punch anymore, we're just gonna be uh, spamming Psychic the whole run. Or maybe we should, like, save some Psychics. Yeah, we should probably save some Psychics. Let's use Hikes. It's, it's more effective anyway. One of the things that I just can't believe is um, in three weeks I'm going to be graduating. Um, I know I talk about graduation a lot, and it's mostly because I'm somewhat anxious because, uh, you know, I'm going to have to... 
would have to, um, you know, go and join the workforce since I'm not gonna go to grad school um, immediately after I graduate. Oh my gosh, Phantom Force, you're gonna be joking. You know what? Who's our NPC? Let's let's send out our scrambles. Yeah, let's send out our scrambles. That needs some action. Yeah, so um yeah, it's still it's still really crazy that I'm no longer gonna be in college. Like I didn't expect this time to have come so fast and I know what I'm saying is all very generic, but it is true. Um, you know, you you just you just I wouldn't say take for granted, but you don't always appreciate the time that you do um, spending. Dude, why? Why scramble is kind of like ass right now, like the shit. <laughs> what I'm saying is like you don't always appreciate the time that you, you know, spend in college. Um, we're always like thinking about the work that we're doing. You know, always thinking about what to do next. My God, our scrambles. You're our strongest Pokemon. You're kind of failing right now. So yeah, um, make. Right now, I'm just really trying to appreciate all the little moments that have been uh, going on in my life, so. Yes, sir. Okay, that is not gonna be a problem. I'm pretty sure Drifloom's gonna be faster than us anyway, so let's just use Brine, and of course we're faster. This inconvenient one time, we're faster. Okay, let's use Brine again. Nice. That was easy. Alright. Wow, Catherine, you were pretty challenging. Okay. Let us heal our Pokemon real quick because they are all tanking badly. Our Scrambles needs a little heals. And our NPC needs a little heals. We'll send out our NPC first. Um, just to show Fantina the respects that she deserves as a gym leader by... Also... Let, let me save the game real quick. By also sending out a ghost type Pokemon. Alright, let's face her. Ooh -hoo -hoo! Finally, you have arrived. Since I came to this region, I always try to learn new things. They hold contest shows in the city. I say to myself, a fiend, I will excel. That is why I dress this way, assist in performance. Also, I study Pokemon very much. I have come to be a dream leader. And uh, so it shall be that you challenge me, but I shall win. That is what a gym leader does, none? No, honestly, I feel like gym leaders lose a lot more than they win, to be honest. It's kind of sad, honestly. So we are challenging Gym Leader Fantina and Drifloom is going to be the first Pokemon that she sends out. And our first Pokemon, as you guys know, it is going to be our NPC, the Battle of Ghost Types. Uh, we are going to use Hex because that's the only move that we have that is effective. And we avoided the Will-O-Wisp despite being really slow. Wow, that Drifloom tanked an attack. Please use a potion. It's not using potions. We need Fantina to use her potions on our weaker Pokemon so that her Gengar isn't beefed up. Wow. We... That, that took a lot. Okay. Well, at least we killed it in a second turn. That was good. That was good. Alright, Drifloom is out of here. What's the next Pokemon? Gengar? You know what? Let's just keep our current Pokemon. Um, only because... I feel like we could defeat this game with no problem with Psychic. Let's do it. Let's try one shot again. Oh, wait. That might be super effective. Okay. Boom. Hit it hard, please. Oh, my God. Okay, we're going to switch our Pokemon. We're not losing any Pokemon today. Um, If it uses Dazzling Gleam, then our Scrambles is going to be able to take that. 
Let's see what it does. Hyper potion? Yeah, why am I not surprised? Well, that's okay, I didn't want to chance it. Let's use Psychic. Okay, our yeah, Confusion Day is no problem. Our Pokemon are immune to confusions. It's gonna attack, watch this. It not in an understanding, so I know it's gonna attack. See, look at that. Dude, I'm telling you, our Pokemon is just freaking confusion proof. Okay. I, I think it might use a poison type attack. Yeah, I thought so. But our Scrambles is strong, and it's not gonna hit herself. But it is poison. That is just so lucky. And we stabbed out of confusion on the second turn again, too. But let's go. That is well played. Good job, Scrambles. I am proud of you. Very proud of you indeed. That is some big XP. Alright, for our final Pokemon, I think we are going to be sending out our Mumble. And the reason is because it's our strongest Pokemon. Well, quote unquote strongest Pokemon. And Fantina is sending her last Pokemon, so I think it'll be a good fit. Oh heavens, what is this? Is it my final Pokemon? It is indeed your final Pokemon. And it's our strongest too. Dang, I thought Gengar was your strongest. Or is our Miss Mackie? That's your strongest. Okay, let's use Brian. I just spam Brian. Dude, why even bother with the Confuse Rays? Our Mumble is gonna take it, no problem. Watch this. Ah, oh, dang it. Well, I mean, our streak had to, you know come to an end at one point. That magic relief isn't going to be too much because we're stable typing now. Let's go. Uh, let's just keep on using Brian. And that magic relief ain't going to do shit anyway, so we're still confused, but we are going to be using Brian. No worries. See, look at that. Total faith. Never give up no matter what. Yes. You are right. I wonder... Let's just use Aqua Jet. And that is how it's done. Let's go. Aqua Jet is such a good move. I didn't know that Aqua Jet was a priority move for the longest time. Uh, so I always just got rid of it. But it is really useful. Holy wants to use Psychic. I thought Holy already knew Psychic. Oh, new Psy Beam. Okay. Yeah, let's definitely uh, teach a Psychic. Alright, nice. Looks like our Holy's gonna evolve for the third time today. Jesus. That's probably the most in anyone's channel. Alright, so we are gonna deny our Holy the evolution that he so seemingly wants. I am sorry, but trust me, it is for the good of you. I am dumbfounded. So very, very strong. You, your Pokemon, so strong. Your power is admirable. I shall honor it with this gym badge. Dun, 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 dun. You received a relic badge from Fantina. Okay. That badge will uh, let you use a hidden move surf from your Poketch. Take these technical machines too. I know you'll make good use of them. Alright, so we got stickers and the TMs. There it is. What is it? Is it Will O Wisp? Oh, Shadow Claw. <laughs> course while we a fire time move uh is there an easier way to get out of here thanks fantina you are just a delight making us go back i wish there was like a portal that would send us back to the entrance instead of having to go through all this shenanigans i don't know just all that extra work i feel like the creators could have done i mean it's not like they did much anyway did you like copy and paste the code and just made it 3d and boom i know it's probably a lot more technical but come on like you can't deny the game is pretty uh, buggy. And when the game first came out, there were so many glitches. Like the duplication glitch for one. I had a fun time abusing that. Alright. Let us make our way out. Oh, there's Cynthia. What you want? I'm so glad to see you. You're not very easy to track down. My grandma told me about what took place in Celestic Town. Thanks for what you did by the ruins. You are welcome. 
Not Team Galactic. I thought they were just a bunch of eccentrics, you know, talking about how they were going to make a new universe and all, and that weird way they dressed too. I thought they were harmless. It appears as if they're a lot more trouble than I thought. I mean, stealing and hoarding Pokemon. That's just plain wrong. By the way, did you find the ruins interesting at all? If you did, you may want to visit the library in Canalave City. They have some ancient books that you might find interesting. It may also be of help to the completion of Pokedex. I think you ought to go there. Okay, bye bye for now. Not gonna lie, Cynthia's drip is kinda fire. No, we are not gonna use another repel. Like we need to uh, upgrade our style ASAP. Let us heal our Pokemon. That was a pretty rough gym battle. There's Joey. I know we came here like 20 minutes ago, but we're gonna have to heal your Pokemon again. Thank you. Bam, bam, bada, bang. Thank you for waiting. Yes, 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 yes. Bye, bye, bye. All right. Well, this is gonna be the end of our journey for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and. Um, if you guys enjoyed it please leave a like and let me know down in the comments what you guys want to see next all right take care